Hi, this is Andy Bryce of Oryx Digital, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of how you can use Easy Data Transform to quickly and interactively reshape and analyze data sets. I'm using the Windows version of Easy Data Transform, but the software is also available for Mac with the same feature set. I'm going to use today's COVID-19 data set from data.europa.eu, as that seems to be the obvious data set to use in the middle of a pandemic. But please bear in mind that I'm a software developer, not an epidemiologist. First, I'm going to drag the Excel data file that I downloaded onto Easy Data Transform. Let's have a quick look at the data. Note that Easy Data Transform is treating the first row as a header. We can toggle Has Header if we want to change that. There are over 14,000 rows. Each row shows the COVID-19 cases and deaths reported for a country on a particular date. The date is represented in two different formats in the first four columns. Then we have the cases and deaths in the next two columns. Then the country in the next three columns. Then the country population in 2018. And finally the continent. Let's create a cut down version of the data with just the date, deaths and countries columns. For that we need the remove columns transform. We can access that from the left pane. Note that a helpful tooltip appears when we hover over a transform button. We can also click the help button to get more information about a transform. Let's get rid of everything except date reported, deaths, country and population. Now let's work out the total deaths per country using a pivot transform. The pivot row is the country. And we want to sum the number of deaths. If we look at the bottom 10 rows, we can see it's calculated a total as well. Note the transform is done automatically. I don't have to press a run button. Let's sort the countries by number of deaths. And sort by sum of deaths descending. Let's add a comment for our future selves or a colleague. If we hover over the transform, the comment is visible, along with a lot of other useful information. Let's reverse the sort order. We can see there are still some countries reporting zero deaths. Let's see how many. So 35 countries are still reporting no deaths. Obviously the deaths are more meaningful in the context of population. So let's add the population data. There are various ways we can do this. Let's go back to the data set where we removed some of the columns we weren't interested in and get rid of the duplicate entries for each country. Let's have a quick look at a summary of this data. We can see that some of the population fields are empty. Let's remove rows with empty population fields. Now let's join this to the deaths by country. The 
Easy Data Transform has correctly guessed that we're going to use the country as the key. Let's go back and change the sort order. Now we have the deaths and population per country, let's calculate the deaths per 100,000 population. We can do this calculation using the JavaScript transform, but JavaScript gets confused by commas in numbers, so let's get rid of the commas first. and add a JavaScript transform to do the calculation. We'll set the new column to deaths per 10,000. This new column now shows the number of deaths per 10,000 population. Now let's do another sort. By the number of deaths per 10,000. We can see the results are dominated by some very small territories. This may not be statistically significant, so let's filter out any country with a population of less than a million. We've got a few too many decimal places, so let's sort that out. Two decimal places should be enough. Note that we can go back and change transforms upstream. For example, let's change it to deaths per million. I won't change the column name. All the downstream transform values have now been updated. Now we can output these results to various formats including CSV, Excel, JSON, XML, YAML, HTML and Markdown. Let's output to an Excel file. Let's have a quick look at the Excel file. And we can output to a JSON file. And let's have a look at the JSON file. Let's also look at the deaths per day and per country. For that I need to spread the date column into multiple columns so that we have one row per country. This is also known as a wide pivot. The key column is the date and the value column is the deaths. And we'll set any empty values to zero. This is now in a useful form to create a graph of deaths per day by country. If the data changes, I don't have to redo everything. Let's check watch on the input so we detect any changes in the input file. Currently, we can see there are 7,765 deaths in Belgium. 
Now what happens if we change the number of deaths in Belgium in the original spreadsheet? Let's change the data back. Everything automatically recalculates when the input is changed. Easy Data Transform is written in C++ so it's super fast. It read the Excel file and processed everything in a fraction of a second. We can save this whole file as a template to use on future data files. I could load tomorrow's data into the input item and it would recalculate everything for me in a fraction of a second. Easy Data Transform can also perform batch processing on whole folders full of files in one go. Note that my data has never left my computer during this whole process, making Easy Data Transform ideal for confidential data. We just scratched the surface of what Easy Data Transform is capable of. Please download the fully functional 7 day free trial for Windows and Mac from easydatatransform.com and try it yourself. You don't even have to give us your email address. If you have any questions, please email us at support at easydatatransform.com. If you're a real epidemiologist working on pandemic data, ask us about a free license.